Hey everybody, day six of the Shin of the Overfeed, the topic of the experiment, coming to you from Blossoms in Aruba. We went Japanese tonight, but first let's just review what's been going on. So this morning was the first time, definitely noticed a metabolic shift, definitely noticed a difference. So I woke up this morning, didn't too much feel like having breakfast, so went out on the beach and took a box of sultanas with me, knowing that I didn't get hungry later on. So it's the first time I didn't get up with a concentrated effort on eating breakfast. So one of the takeaways from that is the difference between hunger and appetite. So as the experiment goes on of overfeeding, appetite gets less even though hunger flattens out. So that's a, a good takeaway lesson for our metabolism in that what I posted on Instagram earlier today, your body is a lot smarter than you think it is. So you don't need a whole lot of apps to program the inside of your body. It knows what it's doing and how and why it's doing it. So having said that, I had a box of sultanas because I knew they're high in carbs, something I like. So on the beach, I had those. I think there was like 21 biscuits, uh, packages of three, 18, 21 biscuits, something like that. Lunch was simple, easy to digest, rice cakes with peanut butter and jam and almond milk. It's a fitness industry go-to indulgence, and that kept things light, which really increased appetite for dinner. So we decided to go Japanese in the spirit of a Japanese restaurant. I had a beer from Portugal, go figure. All right, and then I had a squirrel beer, and of course, uh, after that, I'll post the pictures. We had, um, we definitely um, had some, well, just let me finish. I had some sushi, uh, which I'll post pictures of, and then a Buddha bowl, which is a tofu stir fry kind of thing, which you'll see after. Still a little hungry now. I'm going to go back to the room, have some big giant macaroons waiting for me to, to um, you know, do a hoover maneuver on. We'll do that. A lot of other takeaways I want to get to, but uh, we're in the middle of an alleyway. So go ahead, comments or questions. So Alice is just saying, hi coach, I'm having issues with the audio. Maybe it's just me. Alan, you said hi. Can you just comment if you're still on? Can you hear us? Can anyone hear us? Yeah, if you're getting audio, let us know. If you're not, we'll just redo this on another time. Um, so anyway, that's the summation, day six. Oh, I'm okay now. Audio issue was my end. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Alice. So day six yeah. summation, there's definitely a change now. There's definitely a metabolic shift. Never knew when I was going to actually experience that. It's not too uncommon to experience that. So hunger level flat lines, but appetite level, or sorry, hunger level stays the same, appetite level flat lines mm -hmm. uh, when you're doing an overfeed, which means the body's starting to say enough is enough, which is which is good. This is exactly what I've been trying to show, prove, experience through this whole thing. Another thing I wanted to make a note of, it's funny, the hotel we're staying at, they advertise for their restaurants every night, and every single night, the headline is all you can eat. And this is this North American thing that volume is everything. And that quantity is more important than quality. That all you can eat is some kind of advertisement of being a good thing so that you stuff yourself full and somehow that's, that's a good thing. The other thing is noticing the metabolic shift and the difference of feeling a little heavier. So watching certain people, uh, I was saying earlier that a lot of people eat this way every day for the course of their whole life and carry that experience around with them and everything they do and how they live their life. So imagine that experience on your body and carrying that around all the time. So there is benefits to following a diet strategy with refeeds and spikes. Very, very important to acknowledge, but then you realize the benefit of eating food that your body likes, your body wants, and that will reward you back. And if you treat your body well, your body will treat you well in return. So these are the kind of things that are now started fomenting as the, as the experiment unfolds. So very important. Still kind of enjoying the overfeeding, but definitely a shift today. Ate lighter during the day, heavier now, and of course still lots of room for uh, dessert before bed, which will put me to bed. So.
Uh, definitely day six, definitely noticing a difference. Any comments, questions? No, everyone's saying hi, <laughs> so that's good. Hi, hey, everyone. All right, hey, everyone. So I'm going to wrap this up now. That's the day six summation of the Overfeet Metabolism Experiment. Definitely a difference by day six. So um, overfeeding and what that does with hunger and appetite uh, is definitely now starting to have an effect. So stay tuned. I'll see you on day seven, and I will post uh, the meal for day six. Um, Japanese uh, meal, we'll post that uh, later when we get back. Oh, but, uh, tell them what we're gonna do now. Yeah, right now, um, what's calling is uh, an outs outdoor uh, foot and head and neck and shoulder massage, so uh, pitter patter, we gotta get at her. So I'll see you on day seven. Definitely leave your comments if you're liking this, you're learning from it, and again, lots of now new, renewed interest in the cycle diet. So check that out on scottablefitness.com and the cycle diet. Lots of questions about underfeeding with overfeeding, and of course this whole experiment in extended overfeeding and what we're going to learn from it. So day six, finally noticing a difference uh, in terms of a metabolic shift, if you will, in terms of differences between hunger, appetite, satiety, all those things. So, if, if there's any questions or comments, uh, Mark says, "Enjoy your dinner, guys." Oh, we did. <laughs> Dinner's over. Uh, winner, winner, plant-based dinner. We did it. So we'll see you all on day seven. We gotta go. And uh, yeah, follow along. Hit your shares. Uh, let everybody know that this cool experiment of overfeeding rather than another diet experiment is going on here uh, and get people to follow and get people to uh, ask their questions and, and get their comments in. So we'll see you all on day seven. Okay, and thank you everyone for your comments. See ya.